In this video, I'd like to talk about remediation tests for Azure Policy and how for guest configurations, they play an important role in orchestrating bringing existing virtual machines into scope for a new policy. I'll begin by clicking on the policy icon that we previously added to our favorites list. And then I'm gonna click on this assignment that we created in the last video. Now you see that both definitions are currently showing not compliant especially we're going to pay attention in this case to my deploy if not exists policy which has one non-compliant resource server zero i can click on the create create remediation task button and this will give me control over how i gracefully deploy this extension this is on purpose we wouldn't want if we had uh, a thousand machines in scope here we wouldn't want to just flood our production environment by deploying a thousand extensions all at once we want to have control so we can do this by fine-tuning our scope if needed I can select specific virtual machine or I can choose not to I can also filter by locations so if I want to do one Azure data center at a time I can control the rollout that way I'll click on remediate to begin the task and you'll see remediation task has come back successful. Now it'll take a few minutes before my resource reporting information gets updated. But if I go look at the virtual machine and click view resource and then go to my extensions list, I can see the Azure policy for Windows extension has been deployed. The status is not returned yet. And I should start seeing new information become available in that policy view shortly. That's it for this video. In our next video, we'll talk about how to get the results and the details about what in that virtual machine is in or out of compliance. Thank you.